everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Dave here, Holiday for Two. We're just doing a little trip today to uh, the Glendale RV Super Show. Taking Patch for a little walk and checking out some of the RVs they got around here. See if we find anything we like or anything new and innovative. Give us ideas, you know. Sometimes it's good to look at motorhomes and get ideas for what you can do to your camper. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when I put out more videos in the future. So let's take a look around and see what they have at the RV Super Show in Glendale, Arizona. Patch, you ready? Show us where to go, Patch. Someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. It's supposed to be like 80 today here in Glendale, Arizona. We've been to a couple of these and we just like to look for something that's innovative. I mean, you've got tons and tons of camper vans here. And uh, the one we just looked at was a uh, Solis, uh, Winnebago Solis, I guess is how you say it. 18 foot. Oh boy, when you get in there, it just seems cramped. This one's not too bad. What is this one? Travato Winnebago. This is a little bit bigger. Looks like about a 19, 20 foot, maybe. Double bed. Looks like your shower's in the back. Here's kind of a neat one. This is a 30Z Integra, Odyssey Integra. Let's take a look inside here. And nice, you got your little four-person dinette and your sofa this is what we like Tammy and I want to put one of these in our coachman now the slide outs these have slide outs this is a whole slide out see so it does give you a feeling in here let me back up so you can see it gives you a feeling of a lot more space that's nice really is it gives you a lot more feeling of spaciousness Plus you got the bed up there. That's a almost a queen size bed. Little child safety net here so they don't fall out of bed. I'm looking for a TV, but I don't see a TV. It must be back here. Ah. Wow. That's about what? 40 50 inch TV right there. No, 40 inch. A little fireplace a little TV this is probably where your controls are DVD player I'm, I'm guessing nope just storage space well that's interesting ah there we go hmm nice no it's not on and your little freezer up here Oh, that's nice. About the same space as ours. Somebody's got a drink up here. A little microwave storage. Some more storage. Double sink. Little lights underneath. That's pretty cool. A little small stove. Glass cover. And here's the nice thing. See, this is really nice. Oh, yeah. This is one thing we used to have in our old bounder that we really liked. The walk-around queen bed. This might even... Yeah, this is a queen size. And your walk-around. So you can actually walk around over there. You got his and hers storage ca cabinet. You can put some clothes up in there. I'm imagining... Let me get up here and look. Let's see if it has shelves. Yeah, it has little shelves. 
hope you can see in here because it's kind of dark to me, but your air conditioning, little TV. Uh, looks like this must be the bathroom. Oh, that's roomy. Oh yeah, nice. See, I want to step in the shower and see how much. I'm five foot seven, five foot six. So, some of those camper vans we looked at. Oh my goodness. If you're taller than five foot seven, forget it. You can't stand up in those. And your Ford. Four, is this a 450? Does it say 450 on the front? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a Ford 450. So this is the big chassis, of course, because this is a 30 foot. That's your storage space out here. Nice. Oh, TV. A little storage room under that goes all the way through the other side. Lock that. Another little accent. Oh, it's got a slide out in the back. Okay. I forget what they call these windows. Um, frameless, I think is what they call them. Makes sense. You can open them up, flip them open so the rain comes down and washes off like when it rains it doesn't come inside now here's another Odyssey Integra 27U and you can see right there the price for E450 that was an E450 up there that was the 30 the 30 foot one this is the 27 let me go look inside real quick now this is 27 foot so when you get to a 27 foot smaller you lose the oh no you don't you have a sofa right here so that's nice so yeah you got a sofa probably opens up to make a little bed for like kids and stuff and you got to also have a bed up front interesting i like the window the TV. The window's kind of nice because then you can kind of sit inside here and look out your... See, ours doesn't have the window up there. Kind of makes it feel a little more open. Double sink. Stove. And slide out here. Walk around bed. And you got your cupboards back here for your clothes things like that that's nice more storage up above little reading lights there's a TV right behind me so you can lay in bed and watch TV Wow this one's got lots of storage I like that you want lots of storage if you're gonna stay in one of these for a while and travel around oh this is nice that's really cool we got a window Nice and roomy. Oh yeah. Hey Dave. <laughs> bath fan, bath light. Very cool. See slide outs make it so much, feel so much more roomier. A little space back there for your coffee pot and whatever you want to put back there. Now. Uh, BJ and Billy and their motorhome they put stuff on the counter and they put this tape down so that it'll stick to it so if you had a coffee pot and you wanted to stay there while you're traveling you can put some little tape down and I can't remember who makes that 3M tape it's like a double sided tape clear and it just sticks to there and when you're driving it doesn't move so that's kind of an idea get your power controls here more power controls down there for your power awning and main power cut off outdoor lights and stuff like that levelers looks like there's some levelers 
Yeah. There we go. There's one of those levelers right there. Wow, that's really low to the ground, though. Be careful when you're going in someplace. And finally, since we're on the Odyssey Integra kick here, um, they've got three of them. The 27, the 30, and now the 24B. This is probably closer to what we have. Let's take a look inside, see what you got. I like the little couch. Although that doesn't. Bed, kind of a U-shaped. Hmm. I'm just thinking that's not much different than what we have right now in the Coachman. But it does have a slide out, which makes you feel like you got a little more room, see? Slide out with the bed. Got like a little storage underneath. Okay. Nice. Oh, I like the shower and the bathroom. The window. Nice. Similar fridge. Nor cold. I'm not sure how big this is. There's no signage that says how many square feet it has, but I'll put it up here. Yeah. Same as the other one. Microwave, three burner stove, oven. This is nice. You got lots of little drawers and your remote controls. A little storage above here. Got your little shades, pull down shades. Interesting. Maybe it's an access for a plug. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Look at that. Push it down. Lock it in. It's a little plug. Cool. How you doing, Patch? Ah, looking for storage. There's a little storage bay. Oh, not a lot. A little. It's got the E450. Hmm. This is a 2023 24B Integra Odyssey. 7.3 liter V8. That must be the big one. 114,800. Hmm. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video, hit uh, subscribe and ring the little bell on the side. And take a look around here, see if there's anything else that we see. We're just kind of scoping everything out. Having fun, Patch? I bet he's ready for a drink. I bet he is. I'm ready for a drink. <laughs>